Hey everybody, and welcome back to Banjo Kazooie, where we're finally heading off to Rusty Bucket Bay. Because I hate that level. Oh, there will be death, and it will be glorious. There will be blood. Oh, there's blood. It's not just me who hates this freaking level. <laughs> I can tell you're trying to get away from it. Actually, what am I doing? It's been a while since I've recorded this game. I know exactly what you're doing. Oh, I think. Bar yeah. level. Yep. I want to go get the Cheeto. There's one more water level you can raise. Yeah, and this one's on a time limit. It'll stay up to the third level only for, I don't know, 30 seconds. Longer than that. Okay, it is 30 seconds, so sue me. <laughs> <laughs> I win again. What you're about to lose. Oh, come on. I'm pretty sure that eventually somebody's going to, like, have a, tra uh, a, a tracker of the conversations that me and Matt have and see who keeps track of who wins, who loses. Well, it's not. Oh. Please don't. An Aussie gets owned counter? Okay. <laughs> okay, I can do this. <laughs> yeah. Do you realize how easy I could cheese the system with that? <laughs> oh. <laughs> System broken at that point. No, no, yeah, no. All we have to do That's is bring up the fact right that he can't beat uh, Fire Emblem on Hector Hard Mode with all the chapters. I'm working on it. Hey, even I'm trying Catherine on Hard Mode. If you could beat Hector Hard Mode, Ugh. I'll even do Radiant Dawn on Normal Mode because I'm not playing that game a second time for the Hard Mode. I wouldn't play that. Radiant Dawn. I wouldn't play Radiant hey. Dawn if I was being asked to play Radiant Dawn. <laughs> That game, it, it, it's one thing to be a bad game. It's it's another thing to be a, a very, very long bad game. Oh, and pointless shortcut. Right, right, now we go to... Ready at Dawn isn't that bad, Kappa. Mickey Sue. The problem is, it could have been so much better than it was. That's what disappoints me about it. Yeah, and it has like a major like shoehorn in ending too. Yeah, uh, which shoehorn in ending you're referring to? Ending one, ending two, ending three, or ending four? Let's let's just go on a record and say all. Oh. Anyways, this is Rusty Bucket Bay, and as you can imagine, it's it's a freaking ship. It's pretty much it. But the major thing here is that there's a whole lot of secrets in this level. And while you were in Mad Monster Mansion, you were able to kind of see, like, glowing windows you could, that might have hit you towards, like, ooh, maybe you can break this or something. Here, it's a little bit more uh, difficult to tell with the windows that are breakable or not in this level. Yeah, it took me years to figure out where the last jiggy in this place was. And see, as you see, I'm poking out of each window because I can't remember where, which ones are which, and they all freaking look the same to me. That's pretty much a problem with this entire level. It's just everything looks so similar to itself. Yeah, that you is... got windows that blend in with the background. You've got uh, the engine room, but we'll get to that later. It's also got the most exciting color palette ever, green and brown. To be fair, is a rusty POS. Yeah. So, I can't really call them out of... Uh, also, something that also must be brought to attention is the water. It is, like, mucky, grimy, oily water, and your uh, air meter, while you're underwater, it'll drain twice as fast, and even if you're just treading water, even though it looks very clear that Pancho's sticking his head out of the water, he'll still continue to lose air. Uh, maybe the air above it is very, you know, the oil is kind of making it hard to breathe the air above itself. It, Who knows how much is in there, anyway? It probably... Yeah, get some Dawn soap and throw it in there, it'll be alright. I don't think Grunty carries that brand. <laughs> If Grunty did, I'd be shocked. 
Uh, what would be the uh, no 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 no? I'm trying to think of what would be the polar opposite of dawn for what would Gron to use? Would it be dusk? Ow! That was so late. It would actually hurt like that biting pipe. What? Wait, what? <laughs> biting pipe? What? It's got eyes and teeth. Oh, rare. Granted, that kind of scared me back when I was a kid, cause it, it, it cause it looks like just a normal pipe then. Nah. Well, I've already mentioned the uh, Tumo King City. Why did you jump to it, Ovid? Because I wanted Mumbo Token. You're the chef here. You should know not to jump to Ovids. <laughs> Especially with their glowing red hot. I wanted Mumbo Token. Or jump on red hot stoves. I wanted loot. <laughs> <laughs> That's it, Ozzy. You're going to shiny, uh, shiny addicts, uh, shiny addicts anonymous. Oh, for a second there, because you said something very inappropriate. <laughs> no. <laughs> a shiny object hell. But I like the shiny there. object. Anyways, here's probably that freaking jiggy you took your Yeah, I could never figure out this was in here. Yeah, this is also where you find an egg. And there was much rejoicing. But not Yay. really, because the uh, bonuses for getting all these things is kind of meh. Well, the next game, they're totally worth it, but here, yeah, they're completely worthless. Who am I kidding? Yeah. Also, see that code we just passed that was coming on the wall? Remember that. That'll come in handy later. I wonder if you're going to have to enter it somewhere. I mean, it's only a completely unique art asset on that one specific spot on the ship. You know, as a kid, I was completely oblivious to things like that. No! It's a trap! <laughs> yeah, you can tell which ones are the uh, biting pice by the light color. And here's your first glimpse into hell. Hello, hell. It's on display. And you definitely want yeah. to come in here, because what happens is this will slow the fans down. Making it legitimately possible. This is one of the big major trolls with this level. If you do not come in here and slow this down, and you are not aware that you can slow them down, you're going to be like, what the hell am I supposed to do here? Either time your jump very well, using the vulnerability feather, and time your jump really well, or just get plain lucky. Stupid. And trust me, none of those are going to happen. <laughs> ah, you got steved. You got comboed. Steve the slug. Steve, the uh, creature of chaos. It comes in many incarnations. Oh, but you always like to pop out things and yell hi, guys. Pretty much. <laughs> Anyways, let's hang on. Box of TNT. Over a ship, nothing will bad will come of this. Oh, that just seems like a bright idea. <laughs> well, it's TNT. It's a very stable explosive, actually. But you forget, this is it's no C4. This, this is N64 land. In N64 land, things love to blow up for any given reason. Example. Ah, the ship's still not sunk. Oh, so how you get paid the toll if you don't? Oh. Uh, will that work? I guess the guy on the other side just really wants an omelet. Clearly. Like, a huge omelet. That was eight eggs. And this guy wants a slightly smaller omelet. But still really hungry. Damn it, now I'm hungry. Thanks, guys. I could use a good... I, oh, man, damn it. No. We narrow platforming on the N64. <laughs> It's a little easy aired with a 360 controller, I will admit. The N64 analog stick, well, I, I appreciate it for what it does, and, ah, uh, man, I have oh, never Oh, wow, saw... that... I got that it. Like combo. Wombo combo. It was all part of the plan, guys. He has scummed in vulnerability. He only got hit by two of those explosions. <laughs> No, the N64 controller, I may, I might love the N64 and the games that came out on it, but the N64 controller was a goddamn wreck. Yeah. 
It was so. like this mishmash of like all other controllers, and they were just like, well, we need a D pad, so throw a D pad attached to it. No! And he took my control stick and he threw it over there! And he took my L button and threw it over there! Well, wasn't there a lawsuit against Nintendo about the design of the controller ripping people's thumbs and stuff like that? I think that was Mario Party. Yep. Yeah. So, raise your hands. How many people actually got hurt? Well... You put your hand down, I know you're lying. I can see no damage on that hand. <laughs> I'll admit, my hand burned many a times after playing Pedal Power. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry, I did not own an N64. <laughs> I had no friends who owned an N64. Of course, I had no friends, so... <laughs> and that's why I got so good at Power Man 64. It actually got 100% in that game. I never could. I didn't know what the requirements were to get 100% in Bomberman 64, but I did play that game a lot. Yeah, you had to get the first 100 gold cards. Yeah, getting all the gold cards in that game is a major challenge. And it, but it's also a little tedious because you do have to go back and play through every level. You have to at play least every twice. level like twice. At least. Unless you're like... Even if you tool assist that gear, I don't think you can get 100%. No, I don't think you can. Though, I would like to see a tool assist run of that, just because I would be kind of crazy, because with the whole bomb mechanics and how you can bounce them around, it'd be yeah, inter bomb. it would be interesting to see what kind of crazy things you could do. I know TS video has one, but I don't think it's 100%. Let me go pull it up. Hmm. I remember, I know there was... There's and it took forever to find that uh, Jinjo in this level. Well, this 3D platforming room's perspective isn't helping. 3D box oh. platforming on a Nintendo system? Oh, that, that's thought? just weird. That's such, that's Actually, I lied. There is a 100% speedrun of Fireman 64. Is it Tess? Yes. Okay, I'm gonna have to All 120 it. gold cards within three minutes on hard, three hours on hard mode. I that's that what the 100% requirements are. I might have to check that out eventually. Oh yeah, the part's over.